It's that time of year where you're looking for any possible advantage when it comes to losing weight. So that's why we're talking about apple cider vinegar for weight loss. I'll give you some subtle changes that you can make that will offer you exponential results over time. We're gonna look at the best time to consume apple cider vinegar, the benefits it offers, and then some ways that you can amplify your weight loss results. One of the great things about apple cider vinegar is that it's not an all or nothing approach, but if we're gonna use apple cider vinegar for weight loss, why not use the absolute best method so that we can get amazing results? So let's go ahead and talk about time, but before we do, I do wanna mention, it's always very important to make sure that you're using apple cider vinegar that is raw with the mother and also it is organic. And the reason for this is because organic will make sure that it's free of pesticides. I don't know about you, but I personally do not want pesticides in my apple cider vinegar. And it turns out that apples are one of the most highly sprayed fruits out there. So get organic whenever possible. Let's look at morning for best time. And we're gonna go over to our benefits section here. And one of the things that we're gonna get an enormous benefit of from apple cider vinegar in the morning is it's gonna help kickstart our metabolism. Okay, this is great because we wanna get our metabolism going for the day. And as we look to the another benefit it offers is it's gonna help decrease our appetite. And this is a big one, okay? So let's say you get up and you have some apple cider vinegar. Well, there's studies out there that show that apple cider vinegar can decrease your calorie intake by as much as 275 calories per day. Now, when it comes to weight loss, one of the things we have to look at is calorie intake. And certainly if you consume lesser amounts of calories, you're going to create a calorie deficit and therefore you're going to get that weight loss that you've been looking for. So when we use apple cider vinegar in the morning, we can kickstart our metabolism decrease our appetite, consume less food, and lose more weight. Now, as we look at a way that you can get some better results, just help energize the body and give your body what it needs is you can take some sea salt and sprinkle it into your apple cider vinegar in the morning. And this is great because after a long night's sleep, you're gonna be a little bit dehydrated and those electrolytes can really energize you and make you feel good. Now let's talk about fasting because I love fasting. I love doing 16 and eight intermittent fasting. I love one meal a day intermittent fasting. And you know what else I love? I love using apple cider vinegar while fasting because it has a lot of benefits. Well, when we go over to our benefits section over here, what we see is it's gonna help drive down insulin, which is really great, okay? Because when you're fasting, you wanna drive down insulin, but you also wanna drive down your blood sugar. And this is important because if you ever wanna get the benefits of autophagy, you gotta get that down. And when people are suffering from insulin resistance and the blood sugar's high, well, it's very difficult to get it to go lower while fasting. And sometimes that apple cider vinegar is exactly what you need because if you can drive down insulin and blood sugar, then you decrease fat storage and also increase fat burning, which is really important when it comes to fasting. Now, the other thing that it's gonna to help do is decrease your appetite. And this is good because when you're fasting, sometimes you get a little bit hungry. So the apple cider vinegar will help you stay satiated while you're fasting, and that's very beneficial. Now, coming back up to here, we could sprinkle some sea salt in our apple cider vinegar when we are fasting because when fasted, well, you dump a lot of electrolytes. So therefore, if you put that sea salt in your apple cider vinegar, it's gonna help you feel energized. It also can take away food cravings as well because when we look at you know, cravings and getting hungry while fasting, sometimes it can be due to the lack of electrolytes. So the sea salt will help hold you over as well. Now, this is where it gets really interesting and we're gonna look at apple cider vinegar and consuming it with meals. Now with meals, let's go ahead and take a look at the benefits it offers. It's going to help decrease insulin, decrease our blood sugar, and then of course, decrease our appetite. We talked about how it'll help us eat less, so that's great. But this is so interesting because there's a study that shows that when you consume apple cider vinegar with a high carb meal, it will lower your blood sugar by as much as 55% an hour after the meal. And that's incredible because if we wanna decrease insulin, we have to push the blood sugar down, and then of course, we aren't getting the fat storage. Anybody who's looking to use apple cider vinegar for weight loss, this is a very important benefit, but it gets even more interesting beyond that. There's a study showed that those who are suffering from insulin resistance, it can help improve insulin sensitivity by as much as 34%. That's huge. And you may say to yourself, look, 
I don't have insulin resistance, I'm not a type two diabetic. Well, here's the facts for you. There's over 100 million people in the United States walking around with prediabetes and insulin resistance and they don't even know it. Okay, so the fact is many people are struggling, including potentially you with insulin resistance. So therefore, if we could get the benefit this offers with this apple cider vinegar, why not use it? So awesome benefits there. Now, when it comes to having apple cider vinegar with a meal, I like putting lemon in it. Get lots of vitamin C, it's gonna help give you a lot of energy. But the other reason is very beneficial is because it's really gonna help with digestion, okay? So this is where I like to throw in the lemon juice so you can take a half a lemon, squeeze it in your apple cider vinegar, and it's gonna support digestion, and it's gonna give you these benefits right here, which are really incredible. Now let's talk about before bed because this is another great time to consume apple cider vinegar. And when we go over to our benefits section, it's going to do this. It's gonna help decrease insulin and blood sugar, okay? Because a lot of times people get this big blood sugar spike with dinner. And sometimes it can create blood sugar instability throughout the night and it can cause you to wake up and you know not get very good sleep. So if we use apple cider vinegar, it'll help just stabilize everything, but also it'll help drive down that insulin and decrease fat storage. We wanna burn fat at night while we sleep. We don't wanna be going into fat storage mode. So if we keep our blood sugar lower, it's gonna be really beneficial at this time. Now here's another time I like to put in that lemon. Okay, so you can put the lemon lemon in here. And when you consume apple cider vinegar at night with the lemon, well, here's the thing that is really beneficial about this is it really supports digestion. You have that big meal at night. Sometimes people are feeling bloated. Sometimes it can be a little bit gassy. You can get, you know, a little bit of um, indigestion going on. You can get some heartburn. Well, using this method really supports you being able to overcome those issues just simply by making this change right here. So before bed is great as well. And I like to use the lemon as well, lemon juice with your apple cider vinegar when having it before bed. Now, this is also something we have to take into consideration. How much do we have to drink in order to get some results with this? Now, this is also interesting. Apple cider vinegar turns out to be dose dependent. That means if you have one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, you get results that are you know okay but if you have two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar you get even better results so apple cider vinegar is dose dependent so how do we go about deciding how much we need and when to drink it well if you're going to have apple cider vinegar in the morning i typically like to stick to right around one tablespoon okay when you're consuming it with uh, uh well fasted one tablespoon is also great when you're consuming it with meals having two tablespoons is what I prefer, just because you really wanna get that extra benefit to help keep your blood sugar low. And then if you're consuming it before bed with that meal, also I like to go and stick to two tablespoons. So if you're somebody who's just trying to get a little bit of benefit from apple cider vinegar, one to two tablespoons throughout the day is plenty enough. But if you're looking at this going, look, I really want that apple cider vinegar weight loss benefit. I really wanna drive down blood sugar and insulin and decrease fat storage. Then you're gonna be wanting to stick to more of the two to four tablespoon range, okay? So morning without a meal, fasting, uh, one tablespoon, fine. With meals, I prefer the two. So when it comes down to how much you really wanna have between one and four tablespoons, I'm really gonna leave that up to you to decide. But just know that according to the research, somewhere between one and four tablespoons is right. It just depends on how aggressive of an approach you wanna take with it. Now, as we look at this, I understand that some people look at apple cider vinegar and they go, you know, this stuff is gross. I don't like the taste of it and I don't want to drink it. Well, I can tell you that if you add a half a lemon, squeeze a half a lemon into your apple cider vinegar, it's gonna taste a lot better. A little sea salt can give it a little bit of a different flavor as well. You can use some liquid stevia drops. That's helpful as well. But if you're somebody Beyond all that, you still don't like it. I will say add lots of ice because when you chill it, it helps. And also make sure you're diluting it. Don't drink apple cider vinegar straight. It's not a good idea. And if you still can't get past it, then one of the things that you can do is you can look to some apple cider vinegar capsules, okay? And the thing is about this is you gotta be careful because this industry is full of a lot of really bad uh, supplements and gummies and all these things. Most of them are loaded with sugar. So you really gotta be careful because most most of them are junk. But if you want to learn more about apple cider vinegar capsules and the ones that I have used personally and the ones I recommend, go ahead and watch this video right here.